a change of tune in Washington as the United States calls for an independent probe into the killing of Palestinian journalist Shirin Abouakleh. This viral video about Qatar Airways CEO Akbar al-Bakr has left this Indian actress in hot water. Stick around to find out why Qatar has been ranked the third worldwide for health insurance claims. And finally, could these big six Premier League teams miss out on matches ahead of the World Cup 2022? Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. The United States has called for an independent investigation into the killing of slain Palestinian journalist Shirin Abouakleh after a top official was heckled by a reporter at a press conference. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken was on stage earlier this week when American journalist Abby Morton confronted him about the murder of Abouakleh. The veteran journalist was killed by an Israeli sniper while covering raids in Jenin and a probe by Palestinian authorities as well as witness testimonies found Israel to blame. Blinken's call for an independent investigation marks a massive step from Washington's earlier stance with the United States previously calling for transparency. And now, famous Indian actress Kangana Ranaut has made headlines over the last 24 hours for a video involving Qatar Airways CEO Akbar al-Bakr. On her Instagram stories, the actress made angry comments about al-Bakr for remarks that he purportedly said in response to calls for boycott. However, the audio was clearly dubbed onto the video. After a flurry of taunts and jokes, she immediately deleted the post. In health, Qatar has been ranked third worldwide for the highest cost for health insurance claims. Qatar's average claim value reached $2,900. It followed Taiwan at $3,878 and Denmark, which topped the list at $7,328. The most common claim categories in Qatar are for general practitioner and specialist consultations. And finally in sports, the Premier League's big six clubs could possibly be benched the weekend prior to the start of the FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar after a request was made by the Football Association. This means Liverpool, Manchester City, Chelsea, Manchester United, Arsenal and Tottenham will likely sit out of matches in November to allow players enough rest time before kickoff at the Al Bayt Stadium. League schedules around the world have changed due to this year's World Cup in Qatar, which for the first time ever will be held during the winter season. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co.